Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at February 25th through the 27th. And we're going to see how the energy is going to play out for you. So let's get into it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like a personal. Um, also, check out, well, wait, subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my readings. And if you want a personal, check out the description box. That got so jumbled. My bad, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so Taurus. Taurus for February 25th through the 27th. So overall energy, we do have the three of swords, your current energy. We do have the empress. The challenge is the queen. I mean, no, the king of cups advice from your spirit guides is the will of fortune. What you need to watch out for during this time frame is the hangman in reverse. And then the outcome is the nine of wands. Taurus for February 25th through the 27th. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. And the card that we have is protection. All righty. So let's go ahead and discuss the cards that we have here. So the first one I want to address is the overall energy represented by the three of swords. And with this being in that position, this is you guys possibly harboring on some sort of disappointment. This could be somebody disappointing you by not like following through with a plan to pay you back your money or something like that, if they did borrow it um, or a disappointment in terms of your partner, not getting their act together or being consistent in their efforts. Um, three of swords. This is like, yeah, you're getting into this energy of just like focusing on things that you had certain expectations for that didn't completely pan out the way that you would have thought. Um, and some of you could just be really feeling hurt about something. Um, what is this three of swords about? Yeah, for some of you, this three of swords is the fact that you guys have been in a relationship with someone for so long. And you would think at this point that you guys would know each other's love language by now or have an understanding of what the connection needs for it to work. And it feels like you almost have to start at square one to rebuild and to repair. Some of you also financially, you could be feeling like things are just not moving as fast as you would like it to. Um, or it's like you get money and then you may have to shell it out just right after. And this may be like kind of stressing you out. Now, when it comes to your current energy, I have the Empress, which is good. This is you guys thinking of a master plan to make more money, especially if you are a mother. Um, the Empress card also, this is you... You guys really growing into yourselves. This is like a more mature mindset that you guys are starting to adapt. And as you guys adapt this mindset, you may be finding yourself realizing where there may be, you know, things that you need to stay away from and things that you may have been doing that may have been keeping you from your goalpost for a while now. Some of you guys also during this time frame may be having to do something with your child, like go to the doctors or something like that. Um, something about ear, something about ear. I don't know what that has to do with anything like ear infection or something. I don't know. But um, also I see that there may be something coming up about either your mother or a mother. This could be like you dating somebody who has children and the mother of their child becomes like difficult or something. But anywho, the challenge is the Queen of Cups. So this could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but um, this could also be somebody just being really emotional or not emotional per se, where like they're expressing it, but having feelings and emotions that they're kind of like bottling up and not being vocal about. So this could be you feeling some sort of way, keeping it in though, or dealing with somebody who's acting this way. 
Now, the advice here is the will of fortune. So the advice here is to understand that you guys are shifting into a more favorable cycle of energy. This is like you guys already kind of going through the struggle and not really being in that cycle anymore, but needing to understand, like I said, that you guys are shifting into a more favorable time. So use this energy to your advantage. Um, and also make sure that you guys are coming to reality in terms of what makes sense for you. In terms of dating and your finances. Now, when it comes to what I see for what you need to watch out for during this time frame with the hangman in reverse, this is just your perspective. Um, hangman upright, this is like having the wrong perspective with this being in reverse. This is like seeing things from the correct view finally. Um, so yeah, this is also getting out of this energy of being stuck, feeling stagnant. So what you guys need to make sure you're not doing is being in the stagnant energy. Now, whew, the last card, um, the nine of wands representing the outcome Okay, so you guys could be dealing with a fire sign who's acting like this, where it's like they have all these things that are energetically messing with them, and they're trying to overcome either the energy of being overwhelmed by all these things, or just trying to still keep pushing, even though they have a lot of built up pressure or energy. Um, this could also be you guys, like continuously trying to push yourself forward, even though there's built up energy, but there's a need for you to deal with that um, before you allow yourself to move forward because what's going to happen is you guys, like for some of you, you're trying to attract new love, but you may be having like this high wall up like that lady and it's creating undesirable results because you guys may be attracting people who may be vibrating on the same vibration that you may be trying to avoid. Yeah, so you guys need to be careful with this energy. It's all about the way that you guys perceive things around you. Now, we have protection as the last card. So this card, um, during this time frame, there is going to be a level of your ancestor, ancestors protecting you um, and guiding you. But also during this time frame, um, a piece of advice is to make sure you guys are possibly doing a spiritual bath. This will help really cleanse your aura and help you feel renewed. Um, also, this is making sure that you guys burn like a protection candle or something like that, especially if you do know anybody who's like into witchcraft and may have any sort of reason to kind of try it in that way of trying to send it your way. Um, but with this protection card, this is also telling you guys to make sure that you're protecting your energy and that you don't just have... A whole bunch of people who have bad intentions or bad energy to be around you and also being cautious of what you take in that may be causing you to like second guess yourself or have thrown off thought pro um, patterns excuse me but I'm gonna stop right here thank you so much for watching this I hope that you did enjoy if you did thumbs the video up and subscribe check out the description if you would like a personal and I will see you in the next one